Next question is from S. Costanzo430. How important do you think it is to get mirrors for your home gym? Oh, well, any hmm. trainer will tell you that, <laughs> that mirrors, if you're working out alone, are super important. Because as a trainer, one of your jobs was to watch your client's form. And I, I, I'll tell you what, yeah. people are so unaware that their form is off, that one shoulder's a little high, that mm -hmm. their hip moves in one direction a little bit, that there's a little bit of an imbalance. This happens to me. Um, and I'm advanced. I've been working out for a long time. So mirrors help you watch your form and pay attention to like when I do curls, for example, the simple exercise like curls, when I watch in the mirror, I'm very careful to not allow my left shoulder to hike up a little bit because that's it's the tendency. The tendency is when it gets heavy and hard, my left shoulder wants to wants to shrug up a little bit. And if I didn't have a mirror, yeah. I wouldn't be able to notice that. Just I wouldn't don't feel make it. love to yourself in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why are you looking at me? That's Adam's I'm just saying. No, yeah. this is this is actually, it might seem like a silly question for some people, but I think it's a, it's a good question because I used to get clients that would say things like, oh my God, you know, I, I don't ever want to be one of those people that are so narcissistic. They're standing in front of the mirror and they're watching themselves work out the entire- <laughs> That's not what's, I know, as if they're looking at them, it's like- oh, I know, yeah, well, yeah, and, and, yeah, and, 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 and let's be honest, <laughs> there, there is there is that side too, right? Yeah. There is, there is uh, you know, guys that can't walk to the water faucet without checking them, their tricep out and their shoulder out at least three or four times in the mirror on the way there. So there is that level of narcissism and I could see how they could turn off somebody who's not like an avid lifter in the gym, but- I think their mirrors are absolutely necessary. Yeah. And I every exercise I do, I do in front of a mirror if I can. And it's literally because you're I I'm I care about the movement so much that even to this day, an exercise that I've done a hundred or a thousand times, I still always think there's room for perfecting it and making yep. it look even better. And so it's not about you and what you what I look like in the mirror. It's more about what my movement looks like. And without a mirror, I can't do that. Or without somebody it's standing essential there. feedback. Can, yeah. No. It's, you know, yeah. You got to see what your body is doing to compensate. Because it inevitably, like, based off of patterns throughout your day, you could throw off uh, your mechanics. And it's just, uh, it happens to the best of us. So it's one of those that you just need to see how to make little micro alterations uh, w within your lifts to make sure everything's on point. It keeps you, it helps keep you, it's not perfect, right? But it helps keep you objective to your form and your technique and how you're you're moving away. Just like, I mean, it, it, I, our podcast is a bit of an example. I mean, the first, you know, I don't know, 100 episodes that I listen to myself talk, first of all, you hear your voice and it sounds way different mm -hmm. uh, on, on recording than you hear in your head. So first you get comfortable. Then you realize how you sound and how you communicate things and you make adjustments. It's hard to be objective in the moment and when you can't necessarily watch or see or, or listen to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. That's what mirrors provide. That's why gyms have mirrors. And if you have a home gym, I think a mirror is uh, one of the essential pieces of equipment, just as essential as a dumbbell, a barbell, or a bench or a resistance band. Uh, yeah, otherwise, or unless you are sitting there and recording yourself and then going back and watching it every single time. Yeah, but then you mess yeah, up. That's it's a like, little more weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's better to fix exactly. Yeah, it's better to fix it while yeah. you're doing. No, hundred percent. I'm yeah. agreeing. I was like, that would be my only. If I didn't have a mirror in a, in my at home gym, that would be the thing that I would have to do. Like, yeah. if I didn't have a mirror to look at it, then I would I would definitely record stuff. So I, especially comp complex movements, especially if I'm doing like a squat or a deadlift or a snatch or a movement that I want to see. Am I, where am I breaking down if it's not perfect? 